Hey there, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to go over the Texas High School Mariachi Etude number two from the beginning to measure 17. I'm going to give you guys three things for free. The first one is a practice guide, how to practice. It's very important that you structure your practice time in an organized way. Sometimes we just practice for 15, 20 minutes and we're just playing it over and over and we're really not working towards a specific goal. This guide will help you organize your practice time and we'll go over it in the video as well. The second thing is the sheet music. I know most of you probably already have the sheet music, but I like mine a little larger and a little more spread out. I don't like all of my music really cramped and tiny. So if you want a copy of that, it's also in the comments. And the third thing is the audio. It's a MIDI audio, so it's not like a concert violinist, but it will be good to be able to listen to that so that you get familiar with the intervals and how this etude should sound. Now, right off from the bat, we have D major scale. And then going up, good C natural. Make, make sure you play that C natural, even though it's gonna be very fast. A good judge will be able to hear the difference between C natural or C sharp. And then for the bowing, I like starting up bow. It gets me ready for that half note. I have a lot of bow. Experiment, you might wanna start down bow. Going up will help you with that crescendo, but for me, it's less comfortable. So I like to start up. You can mess around starting up and down. Bow. So one of the first things on the practice guide is learning the notes. Let's talk about the notes on the first complete measure. D and B in third position, then to A and F sharp. Okay, then we have D, G and E flat. I would stay in third position. And then B and G. Then F, E flat, D with B. Again, the A and F sharp, then. So I'm not gonna go over every single note, but you get an idea of level one when you're learning the notes. You're not worried about bowings. You're not worried about dynamics the rhythms necessarily, get used to what position you're going to play in and learning the actual notes. I'm gonna skip a little bit ahead on the practice guide. I'm gonna go to level two where we practice double stops. One way to practice double stops is listening to just the top voice. So get that in your ear so you can hear how the top line should sound. And then practice the bottom line. Now pick up to measure seven, you have two options. You can do first position. And then a shift to third. Or you can stay in third position. And then you jump up to fourth position right there. And you're already in position for the next spot. It's up to you. I think I like third position a little bit better. It sounds warmer. Sounds more melodic, more lyrical versus. That sounds very bright and we want a more bolero sound. Okay, the golden measure, measure eight. We have first finger on A and then G where the harmonic is. That's what that little square symbol is. That's the harmonic. G with A and then tremolo. And then of course the dynamics, forte and then Subito piano. Next measure, make sure you're keeping tempo. One, two, three, four, and one, two. 
So of course, this is in the practice guide level one. When you're practicing rhythm, definitely 100% of the time use the metronome. Now for measure 10, I recommend pitzing where you still have your bow grip. It's because of the next part, you're going to have to play right away. So if you do this bow grip where you're holding it, you can switch really quick, but it's gonna be a lot harder and you have the chance of dropping your bow. So just I'm just holding the bow regular and then pitching with my first finger. Okay, the next part. Shift to third position there. Again, pits with the bow grip. And careful not to accent that last note. All right, it doesn't have an accent. We're not really aggressive. Be really delicate with it. And then measure 13, I put a little heart on my music. Give those quarter notes vibrato. And if you're having trouble with these notes that are in a group of six, they're called sextuplets. Think of them in groups of three. One, two, three, one, two, three. And we can use some practice rhythms holding out the first one. Those are called practice rhythms. They're gonna help you with the agility in your left hand. So groups of three, we held the first one. Now try to hold the second one. It makes you think about it a lot more and then hold out the third one. And then you can try it with the metronome. Right here, the metronome is set to 75, and this on the practice guide, this would be considered level two, practicing the tempo and the agility. So we're thinking about them in groups of three. Da, 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 da. Then hold out the first one. Ready, go. Then holding out the second one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Ready, yeah. And then holding out the third one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Ready, and. So with the metronome, play it one more time as written. Da, 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 even rhythm and then once you get that comfortable and solid move the metronome up either one click 78 or 79 move it up two clicks and then do all of that again regular hold out the first one second one third one play it again regular once that is perfect go up another two clicks to 81 so like that little by little you're going to set aside 10 minutes to practice just that one agility exercise. Then moving on. So you wanna have the rhythm in your head, the tempo. That solid quarter note is always going while you're playing. I slur these last two eighth notes so that we can land on that down bow. I like going down to first on that open A and then back up to third. But it might sound nicer in third position. It's up to you, whatever you can play more in tune and a little more beautiful. In third, you might be able to add some more vibrato and it will sound really nice, but it's up to you. And then the next scale. Third position. I shift up to fifth position. 
C, D, E, F, and you have that half step. E to F natural. So let's do a quick example of how we could practice that. Again, we have the metronome set at 75. Think of groups of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That would be as is, where all of the notes are even. And then hold out the first one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. And if that's too fast, move the metronome way down. Move it down to 60. See how that tempo feels. And then little by little, you'll bring it up from there. Really quick before we continue, don't just move on. You have to be really strict with yourself. If you're fumbling and you're playing wrong notes and it sounds out of tune, bring down the tempo, bring down the speed, go down to 70, 65. Don't rush ahead and thinking that those problems are gonna fix themselves. You have to be very disciplined and it's really hard. It can be really boring, really tiring, but if you do wanna get better, this is going to help so much. And that was a little fast for me. So I'm gonna take my own advice. I'm gonna go down to 70. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so now here we have the metronome at 70, and I think I was playing, I think I was playing F natural, I don't know why, but it is F sharp, so make sure we're doing good F sharps. So now think of it in groups of three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, then hold out the first one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. That felt okay, try it again. Then hold out the second one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Again. That one felt good. Then hold out the third one. One, two, three, one, two, three. Bad again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. And then even. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now I didn't like that shift. One, two, three. One, two, three. That felt good. One last time for good measure. One, two, three, one, two, three. So that was tempo set at 70. I would go up two clicks, 72. Do all of those practice rhythms again. Be really strict with myself. Make sure my shift is good. Make sure my intonation is good. Then move on to 74. And little by little, we'll get a lot faster. And at the top of the practice guide, which I hope you read, it says practice maybe 10 to 30 minutes on a specific category. So thinking about how you're gonna to practice tomorrow, say you wanna do one of these practice rhythms, you'll set aside 20 minutes for practice rhythm on measure 16. And that way you get to your practice spot, set a timer, you know what to focus on, and you only practice those 20 minutes. Maybe you're gonna practice another 20 minutes later in a couple of hours, but that's okay. You wanna just space out your practice time in an organized manner that's gonna help you not lose motivation and not get super tired and frustrated. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. And don't forget, I have that Facebook group that I would like you to join if you play mariachi and if you play violin. It's a community where we're going to share our progress videos, we're gonna share tips, positive feedback, anything that relates to mariachi and violin. And I know it might be a little nerve wracking to upload a video, but believe me, when you put up your camera, you start recording yourself knowing that you might share it with other people. You're going to feel that performance anxiety away right away. And it's good practice. You know, when you get in the audition, it's going to be in front of people. So the more you play in front of people, even virtually, it's going to help you with that anxiety. I'll be posting the rest of the etude soon. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks.